a lot of what we've been talking about at the moment has been new connections. But one thing that we see other grids looking at is this potential to sort of revise what's already on site. So can we make more from, or can we do more with our existing solar park? Can we do more with the connections we already have? What's your take on that? And how easy is it to actually modify some of these connections? That's a really, really interesting point. Um, I, I think there's sort of two two sides to it. There's the first bit is looking at the existing fleet. A lot of it's probably underperforming. Um, I used to work at a solar developer. They did a, an exercise where they looked at their existing portfolio and I think they managed to eke out another 50 megawatts of generation out of it just by making performance improvements. Um, there's also shed loads of unused capacity sitting in connection agreements. We see that as an IDNO, people get two MBA import, they never use more than one. Mm. But contractually, that's, give, that's theirs. I think we need to look at more mechanisms to claw that back from people or buy it back from people perhaps more rightly. And then in terms of retrofitting the existing connection, exactly, we need to do more of that. It's using existing assets. You know, the capacity factor of solar is 14%. Those assets are, are, are really underutilized. Um, it becomes challenging because we have allowable change guidance. So you can't just change a technology or add new technology and expect to keep your place in the queue, which is fair, I think. 